Our first caller is Tyson from Wyoming. Hey, what's up, Tyson? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Um, yeah, so I've been lifting consistently for a few years now, and I love doing full body routines, and I especially like doing lower body exercises, but I feel like my legs and my butt are uh, getting pretty overdeveloped comparatively to the rest of my body. So I'm wondering, uh, how can I modify my workouts to still get this, uh, the benefits of full body training while limiting further growth of my thighs and butt. So you look too much like a minotaur. Is that what, uh, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, you're going to need to send some pics like that over to Sal's Instagram. Just so to go see, ahead. Just to see what, you're, what we're yeah, working Yeah, go ahead, there. DM yeah. Sal some photos. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's actually a really good question. So a couple, I'll ask you a couple more questions just to kind of narrow down the best advice. Tyson, do you start your workouts, your full body workouts with lower body exercises? Always. Okay. Pretty much always, yeah. Okay, all right. And then are you doing an equal amount of volume for your lower body uh, with your upper body? Uh, I would say it's pretty close. Okay, so two things you can do. Very simple, that might help. Um, I would save the lower... Now, normally I wouldn't recommend this because the lower body exercises are exercises like squats and deadlifts. I mean, phenomenal movements. But in your case, I would save those, believe it or not, for the end of the workout. Yeah and prioritize your upper body. And then the second thing you can do is two, is two things. Uh, increase the volume for your upper body and decrease the volume for your lower body. And then maintain that for long enough until you start to see that your body starts to balance out a little well, bit. Well, what, what program are you following right now? Um, I'm kind of in between programs, uh, but I did just start another round of, of anabolic. Um, I, I'm working on a cut or starting to cut right now. So um, I was a little unsure of what to do. So I, I just jumped on anabolic again. Have you ran aesthetic yet? I have not. Oh, um, bro, this, okay. Yeah. So this would be perfect yeah, for call. so, yeah, this is perfect for someone like you. I would take, so uh, the way aesthetic is designed, it's three full body workouts uh, a week. And then you have two focus days where you're focusing on um, other muscle groups that you're trying to develop that you would consider underdeveloped. So I would pick, Obviously, for the the focus days, I would pick whatever upper body exercises, whether it be chest, back, or arms, shoulders, uh, that you want to bring up. So I'd pick one or two muscles to be my focus days. And then I would take the advice that Sal said is on the foundational days where you have full body routines, I would just end my workout with my legs and start it with my upper body. Just that in itself would probably be perfect for what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, I've uh, I've ran uh, quite a few of the maps programs, but never have tried uh, any of the aesthetic uh, based programs. Yeah, good. we'll send we'll send you access to aesthetics. So when we hang up here, uh, you'll get free access to it. But yeah, um, follow what we're saying until you start to feel like your body's balanced out, and it may take a while. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have we all are genetically predisposed in some areas, and others not so much. So you may just uh, be one of those people where your legs just respond really, really well or better than your upper body. And you just tailor your workout mm -hmm. uh, around that until it starts to to balance out um, you know, the rest of your body. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. Perfect. All right. Thanks for calling in, Tyson. Yeah. Thank you, guys. No problem. Yeah. You know, it's um, a lot of people don't realize that the exercises you start your workout out with tend to get prioritized in terms of adaptations. Yeah over the exercises that you end your workouts with. And it's a small effect, but over time it actually starts. Yeah. To we actually up. get that question a lot, especially with, uh, when I, when I should implement cardio. And so if, if the, the goal and the focus is to build muscle, usually we'll recommend that towards the end because of that fact. Mm -hmm. Well, this is exactly what aesthetic was designed for. Yeah. I mean, it was inspired by the way I would get ready for a show, which when you're getting ready for a show, you're constantly critiquing the balance and symmetry of your body. It's, you know, you go, you hit the stage, judges critique you. They say, oh, you have too much legs, not enough shoulders and arms or whatever. You go back to the drawing board and you plan out your, your programming mm -hmm. for the next two to three months in off season to bring up and balance that out. So anytime we get questions, male, female, doesn't matter what muscle group we're talking about on the body. If you feel like you have part of your body is overdeveloped and part is underdeveloped, mm -hmm. that program was designed specifically yeah, for that. Just bring up, a, you know, and emphasize those body parts. Yeah. So that's a perfect advice. Yeah. You know, when he's talking, I'm thinking of athletes because in sports, people aesthetically tend to not be balanced because they're performing a particular sport. Mm -hmm. 
And the one sport I can think of where the lower body does not match the upper body at all. You ever seen sprint cyclists? Sprint cyclists. Yeah. I think oh the same thing. Oh my God. Yeah, he'd be great at that. Their lower bodies are like pro bodybuilders. And the upper bodies look like long distance runners. It's but really this crazy. is a great problem to have because it's not common, especially with guys. You normally yeah. hear the opposite. You know, most yeah. guys hate to train their legs. So, I mean, he's in a good position. So, dude, chest day all day, bro. Yeah.